Introducing Amplitude Experiment, the first experimentation and configuration powered by customer behavior. Experiment is an end-to-end -end solution from hypothesis to targeting to analytics, helping teams go from small changes to making big bets that deliver the best experience and real value for their customers. In this demo, we'll make a hypothetical experiment running on Amplifit, a fitness website. We noticed in Amplitude Analytics that we have a few different types of users currently on Amplifit. We have our power users, those who take more than five classes, and we've noticed that they actually have a much higher retention rate than those who take fewer classes. We've also been able to tell that those who connect with friends and use our social features are much more likely to make it through our funnel than those who use the site in isolation. This leads to a hypothesis based on data that by getting users to invite friends to work out together, we can increase the number of classes they complete in a week and ultimately increase our intention rates. Let's switch over to Amplitude Experiment to define and launch this test. Experiment guides us through the process of setting up a rigorous A-B test running on our site or app. Adding this structure is important for ensuring our experiment success. For example, Experiment allows us to first capture all the context, including a problem statement, the supporting data, and the hypothesis we just discussed. Next, we'll select a metric. Rather than just being a single indicator like clicks, we can actually link an amplitude chart and track that in real time with live user data. Next, we'll set up the variance. Amplitude Experiment lets us define two or more variations of our page or app where we can specify the control and then the variation content. Variations can also have payloads where we could provide text for a button, a background color or image, or even link to Amplitude Recommend to provide recommended products. Now we'll choose who to run this experiment for. In our case, we want to target those who've taken fewer than five classes to see if we can increase their chances of signing up more. Typically, targeting experiment on this type of user behavior is difficult for engineering teams and requires piping a lot of user properties around the tech stack in order to make sure it's available everywhere in experiments needed. Amplitude handles this seamlessly by making all of the user properties and cohorts you've already defined in analytics now available for experiment targeting. So with one click, we can identify all those users who've taken fewer than five classes and only show the experiment variations to them. Amplitude also handles the identity resolution, stitching together users on different devices or if they log in partway through a session. With our cohort of users selected for the experiment, we can now choose what percent of them should see our experiment. In this case, let's start with 10% at a 50-50 traffic split. To sum up, Amplitude shows us roughly how many visitors we should expect to see in each of our variations per week, which is really important and helpful when it comes to planning the test duration and ensuring we have enough data or users to reach a statistical result. We're now one click away from launching our experiment to go live on our site. Once the test is running and results are coming in, we can also analyze those in Amplitude. A notebook is a great place to do this, where we can sum up the entire test goal as well as what we launched and ultimately the results we found. So to recap briefly, we started with our retention analysis where we identified users with a higher likelihood to be retained as those who took more classes. And also those who connected with friends, we found that they're more likely to make it to our funnel. This led to our data-driven hypothesis. We chose the average number of classes per week for those non-power users as our primary metric, hoping to increase the number of classes they take. In a notebook, we can also capture details on our variations, whether those are mock-ups or screenshots of the designs we put together. We can document the targeting, including which devices and platforms, as well as how many users were ultimately part of the cohort we targeted, our rollout plan, and ultimately the results. So here we can compare the performance in terms of an average number of classes taken per user for the control group to those who saw our new variation. And we can see that it increased from under four classes per week to nearly four and a half, a 12.3% uplift. 
Amplitude also automates the statistical analysis to show us the chance that that variation is actually going to outperform the baseline if we were to implement this change today. In this case, it's nearly 90%. We've got a very high likelihood of seeing these results reflected in reality. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Amplitude Experiment. If you want to get in touch with our team, we'd love to discuss with you further. Thanks for watching.